Welcome to Flutter Teacher. In this session, we'll talk about static variable and static methods in the Dart. So before I start the video, let's understand a topic that we'll cover in this session. We'll understand what is static variable, then the static method, and finally, I will talk about restrictions on static variable and static methods. So without wasting time, let's get started. First of all, let me explain what a static variable is. We know that we can write a class. So let's say we have the class called test. And uh, inside this class, I have written, let's say, int x with some value. So basically, the x that we have written is called as a normal variable or the normal field. But before this variable x, let's say if I write the keyword called static, now this variable becomes a static variable. So it's very simple that whenever we define a field or variable that is preceded with the static keyword, that field becomes the static field or static variable. Now, let me explain the significance of static variable. So for this, let me delete this line from here and let me write some code in the class test. Let's say we have int x with value 10 and I have another variable, let's say int y with value 20. And inside the main, let me create two different instances of this class test. For this, we can write say test obj1 is equals to say test. And let me copy and paste the same line to create another instance. So I have copied and pasted here now. Now you can observe here we got two different instances obj1 and obj2 for the test class. Now, as we have two different fields x and y in the class test, what will happen here? Inside is obj1 and obj2 means for both these objects we have separate copy of x and separate copy of y. But consider situation that we don't want the value of y that is the y variable should not have the separate copy for all the objects means there has to be a single copy of y which is shared by multiple objects in the class. It means irrespective of number of objects you create in your program it doesn't matter there should be only one copy of y and that should be shared by all objects in your program so in order to assure that one we need to write this y variable as the static now what happens here as we have the x so this type of field is called as non-static field so whenever we have a non-static field in the class for each and, each and every object that is uh, for this obj1 and for obj2 there will be a separate copy of x but as this y variable is a static so for all the objects in your program there will be a single copy of y which is shared by multiple objects moreover the static variables are associated with the class rather than the objects that's why they are also known as the class variable so that's the reason if we want to access this y variable so if you try to access this one using the instance, let's say by using obj1 and obj2, in this case you will get an error. So such a variable must be accessed by using the class name. Let's say if I want to print the value of this one, so we should write that the print test dot y. So it's simply going to print the value of y. So let me run this program here and you can observe on screen we are getting the value 20, which is actually the value of y here. But we can't do the same thing with the instance variable. Because as the name suggests, they are instance variable. Instance in the sense, uh, this variable x uh, will appear in the memory when only and only when you create an instance. It means this variable is not uh, the individual variable. It will be always present inside an object that is inside an instance that is inside the object. That's why it is called the instance variable. However, this y variable is not instance variable. So the magical thing here is it doesn't matter whether you create an object or not in the program. So irrespective of object creation, the variable y is available in the memory. This is just because the y variable is static and uh, they are associated with the class. So whenever class is getting loaded in the memory, your y variable is ready for you. But it is not the case with the x variable here. So I hope it's very much clear about what the static variable is and what is the significance of this one. Now let me talk about the static method. You can observe here we have class test that contains uh, the method called void show. Now this type of method is called as the instance method. It means whenever we want to use this method, we must have an object. So over the object, we can call the method show. But consider a situation where we want to call a method or we want to use a method without using an object. So such a method must be a static method. Let's say if I make this method as static, so let me write here static. So you can understand here, whenever we precede the definition of method using the static keyword, such a method becomes a static method. And now as this show method is a static, we can call this method without an object. So simply I can write, let's say, test.show and this is going to call for you. 
we mostly define a method as static when we want to do some utility task means uh, there is nothing to be done over the value of an object means we don't want to play with the instance values rather there is some utility task to be done by the method so in that case it's preferred to make that method static let me explain this one with an example so for this let me erase this code here let's say uh, we have some method say i will name this method as let's say get formatted date now for this method let me pass some date time object so we can write here let's say date time here date time let's say I'll write some value here and what i'm going to do i'm going to return some string value means this basically string it is a representation of what uh, the date format that we want let's say we have some format let's say some x some s we have some format let me place some value and we can do the return activity on let's say you can write here return s now uh, the thing that i have placed coming consider that this is the thing that we are doing some logic to make the formatting so such a method is preferred to have a static so if i make it static so the reason here is uh, this method is not made to perform operations over the field so it is a normal kind of method means it is like the utility method so uh, we mostly prefer this method to make it as the static now uh, you might be feel that it's quite fine to have the static method means we don't need an object and we can simply call that one but uh, there are lots of restrictions or limitations if we make the method static so let me explain what are the limitations or let's say restrictions over the static variable and the static method static method cannot access non static members of class it means when we have a static method inside that method we cannot access non static data that is non static field and other non static methods of the class however we can happily call or we can happily use the static members that is we can use the static data and the static methods which are present in the class so let me explain this one with an example you can observe here we have a class called abc inside this class abc we have the x which is the non static field and we have the y which is the static field then we have a method called test now observe here a test method is a non static method that's the reason it can happily access the x and y and we have a method called show which is the non static method then we have the show me method and that is the static method here you can observe here inside the test we can happily call the show and the show me so if we have the normal method that is the non static method in such a method it's possible to access even the static and the non static members of the class but observe here in line number 12 we have the demo which is actually the static method so when we use why so it's fine because why is static it's allowed we can even use show me because show me is static so that again fine you can observe here in line number 13 and in line number 15 we are getting error this is because the variable x is a non static and the method show is again a non static so which is not allowed to access from the static method demo static method has no access to this reference this is because uh, this is basically the implicit reference that refers to current invoking object and when we have a static method uh, we don't have a moving object because uh, that method is invoked without an object simply by using the class name so it doesn't makes a sense to have uh, this reference inside this static method you can observe here uh, we have the non static method test so here we can write this dot x it's completely fine but if i try to use same thing inside the static method demo that is this dot x you can observe here i'm getting error in line number 9 it says invalid reference to this expression so it proves that we cannot use this inside static method we cannot define global function as static it means if we want some function or method to be defined as static it must be a method means it must be a part of class if you want something to be without a part of class means you are trying to define a global function or let's say the simply function so that type of thing is not allowed to make as the static you can simply observe here in line number 4 we have the method called show and as it is a part of class i can simply make this one as static so let me copy this static from here and we have a global function here it's not basically global function it's actually called a function so whatever thing or whatever method that you write inside the class they are called as a method in the dart and whatever uh, methods or let's say function that we define outside the class they are simply called as a function it's not a method so let me try to use a static here you can observe here as i'm writing static dart pad use me error it says that cannot have a modifier static so we cannot define global variable or local variable as the static variable you can observe here i'm getting two different errors we have the method show and inside this method i'm trying to create the y variable and i want this y variable as the static so as this y variable is a local variable so it's not allowed to use static 
So if I remove static from here, the error will disappear from line number six. And you can observe the same error in line number one. It says that we cannot use static here. The variable x is not the field or it is not a part of class. So if you want to define a variable as a static, it must be a part of class. So it cannot be a global variable, even it cannot be the local variable of a method. Static members, that is the static variable and the static method can't be accessed using an instance. So whenever we want to access the static method, it must be accessed by the class, not by the instance. We have a class called test that contains the static variable x with the value 10. And inside the main, we have the instance of this class test. And using this instance, I'm trying to access the value of x here. You can observe here, it says that the static getter x cannot be accessed through an instance. So if you want to access this uh, x, that is whatever static uh, members we have inside the class, it has to be accessed through the class name, not by the instance. So let me change it to say the test. And now that's going to work fine. That's it for this video. See you guys in the next video. If you really found my videos helpful and knowledgeable, then don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell notification button to get my latest videos.